I'm sure you've noticed by now, but I am a huge proponent of obtaining passive cash flow. I think passive cash flow is the way that you get to financial freedom. It's the way that you get to financial security. It's the way you get to financial independence. And if you have a plan in place and you are willing to delay instant gratification, then you can easily achieve it. It's not easy, but it can be easy with a plan. It takes time, it takes perseverance, and it takes sticking to your plan. It also, you need to stay motivated. And by staying motivated, it means being consistent. You have to be consistent in your plan, in your decisions, in the types of deals that you're looking for. And then what does it really get you in the end? And that's what I think is exciting. What does passive cash flow actually get you? Well, the first thing you can do with passive cash flow is cover your life expenses. And so if you have an active income coming in, then the active income can become gravy and you can use the passive cash flow to cover your living expenses. That way, anything you make from your day job or from any of your other activities really can go to whatever else you want to do. Once you get to a place where your passive cash flow is covering your life expenses and your annual living expenses, you can really take a look and say, can I grow that passive cash flow anymore? And the second thing that I think passive cash flow can do for you is it can really help you buy the things that you may want. So let's say you've been wanting to get some new furniture, you want to get a new car, you can use that passive cash flow, the excess beyond your living expenses to go out and buy that new car, to go out and buy that new furniture, to go out and buy a new TV, whatever it is that you've been wanting to do, you can go use that passive cash flow and do that. A third thing that it can do is enhance your lifestyle. And I'm a huge proponent of this one because with extra cash, you can say, okay, I'm going to go have an experience. I'm going to go take the trip to Africa that I wanted to take and do that safari. I'm going to go scuba diving in the Caribbean. I'm going to go skiing in Vail, or I'm going to go skiing in Switzerland. I'm going to take the family on a trip to Euro Disney and have them go to Disney in Paris you can enhance that lifestyle. You can even use it for flying business class or flying first class. And so you can enhance your lifestyle with your extra passive cash flow. A fourth thing that you can do is continue building your net worth. So this is one of the areas where I really focus and this is what I like doing as well. In addition to, to enhancing my lifestyle with experiences, I like building upon the cash flow. And I, I really think this is a great way to compound your interest. So if you invest $100,000 into a deal and every year you get back 10%, you get $10,000. I take that plus any extra passive cash flow from other investments and then I'll invest in a new deal. And then that way I can build up my net worth and I can build up my cash flow even more by taking the, the investment dollars that, that I get back and reinvesting that in a new deal. And I look for deals that meet my metrics. I don't just invest in every deal. Sometimes I'm sitting on cash and just waiting to find a great opportunity to invest in. But when I do find a good opportunity, one that fits my investment thesis, it's an asset type that I'm looking for in a geography that I'm looking for, or exposure to a sponsor who I've had you know, positive investments with, I'll make that transaction again and then use my passive cash flow to enhance my passive cash flow and grow my net worth. The fifth thing that you can do with passive cash flow is really build up a legacy. One of the things I'm a big proponent of is leaving the world a little bit better place. So whether that's for my family and helping them achieve, then that's one of the things I want to do with my passive cash flow and with my net worth is I want their life to be a little bit easier. So my goal is to leave it a little bit easier for my children and my future grandchildren. Another thing that it gives me the ability to do is leave things better off for the people that I care about as well. So I want to be able to, to help other family members in their quest on their financial future and obtaining financial freedom. And then the last thing I want to do is help the causes that I really care about. So I'm a big believer in helping people with shelter, water, food, and also with education related to sports activities. And so with people that need access to, to water, food, 
then I want to give back to those causes that I believe in that I think can do that. And I also believe that people who are achieving in both education and sport deserve an opportunity regardless of where they come from. And so those are some of the causes I want to give back to. And that's a way that I can leave a legacy. So those are the five ways that I think passive cash flow helps you in your life. And I think it's a it's a wise endeavor to be trying to strive to get more passive cash flow and to increase your net worth over time so that you can also cover your living expenses. You can buy the extra things that you want to buy. You can enhance your lifestyle. You can also continue building your passive cash flow and growing your net worth. And you can also build and leave a legacy. So on that note, hope you like this video. Please feel free to like it, share, subscribe, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.